What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, I've been reading your guys' comments. I've been reading your guys' comments, and I picked a Pokemon that a lot of you guys want to see. We are rocking out with a Chlorophyll Leafeon Sun Team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button. Only takes two seconds of your guys' time to support me as a content creator. But let's get started here with today's stream preview. Starting off with the one and only Leaf on over here. And if you guys want any other Pokemon for me to showcase in BDSP, leave them down in the comment section down below. I love reading you guys' comments and I love bringing you guys Pokemon that you guys want to see me play. So we're starting off with Leafeon over here. We gave it the Life Orb as item to make it do more damage. It's obviously the Rock and Chlorophyll as its ability, so it can double its speed in the sun. And its EVs are kind of like half and half all around, but we maxed out its attack stat. We maxed out its attack stat. We gave it some HP, and we gave it a little bit of speed because it's not going to need too much speed when it's in that sun. You know, it's already doubles its speed. It's already pretty fast. Move set for this guy is going to be Leaf Blade for stab, Swords Dance to set up, Protect. We also got Dig for our coverage and our dodge move. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Ninetales. It is going to be our Sun Pokemon. And whenever it hops to the battle, the Drought and Weather is going to be set for our Leafeon. We got Heat Wave. We got Protect. We got Solar Beam for coverage. And then last but not least, we are rocking Willow Wisp for burns on opposing Pokemon's physical attackers. Item for this guy is going to be that Focus Hash. And like I already mentioned, the ability is going to be that Drought. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be lovely little Garchomp over here. Holding that Yachi Berry so it can actually eat up an Ice Move. And he's rocking the Rough Skin as its ability. Move set for this guy is fairly normal. It's got the EQ, the Dragon Call, Protect, and Sword Dance. Works so well, why would I ever change it? Next Pokemon is going to be our support Pokemon. It is going to be Tokus. And Tokus, I wouldn't say, is exactly a support Pokemon because it can work both ways. It could be a great special attacker or it could be a great support one. It's got Dazzle Gleam. It's got Air Slash. It's got Follow Me and Protect. It's rocking the Super Luck as its ability. And then the item, obviously, it is holding is that Skill Points to give it even a more boost in that critical hit ratio. Next Pokemon is PZ over here. And I love this Pokemon. I love using them in uh, BDSP. It is a lot of fun and it can do a ridiculous amount of damage because it has choice specs alongside with its ability adaptability, which doubles its any stat move. So doubles damage of stat moves plus with the choice spec damage on top of that. It's just a ridiculous amount. It's got special attack and speed as its EVs. And then it's a uh, move set is going to be Ice Beam, Hyper Beam, Tri Attack and Thunderbolt. Just works so well with choice spec. So I gotta, I gotta pick a move whenever I'm using them. But most of the time I roll in the Tri Attack, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt and Hyper Beam usually come in in certain situations. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Speed Control Pokemon and another great special attacker for this team. It's going to be Latios over here with Psychic, Tailwind for Speed Control, Dragon Pulse for Stab, and Protect for its moveset. It has the ability to levitate, so you know ground moves can't hit him, and then the item it is holding is the item of his. It is going to be Soul Dew, which if Latios or Latios is holding it, it raises a Psychic and Dragon Power, so it is basically an item that only he can hold. Him or its counterpart, Latios. But guys, there's the team preview. Looking nice with the Sun Team Leafeon. Let's hop into the Coliseum and see how it does. Let's get going here, ladies and gentlemen. We're hopping into battle number one. We're going up against a really cool team. This guy's rocking Blastoid, Scissor, one of my favorite, Breloom, and he's got Storm Drain, Gastron, Tokus, and Rotom Heat. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like Leafeon could be beautiful here. Leafeon alongside with like Ninetales. The Pokemon we would have to watch out for is more so like a, uh, is it Tokus and the Rotom Heat? That's definitely a problem for us. But do we see him leading both of them? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I could go Leafeon alongside with like a lot of as a lead that could be pretty good but um a pokemon like tokus really poses a threat to my team but i'm still gonna go in with the sun squad i'm gonna bring pz in the back because i feel like pz does some work and then last but not least latios or tokus i'm leaning more towards tokus here because tokus is just tokus clutch so i'll kind of lean towards tokus we're gonna lock it in we're gonna lock it down we're gonna look to grab ourselves one here in battle number one but this one's gonna be tough because if he leads the uh, tokus and rotom we could be really in a struggling position but i feel like if he doesn't we should be fine and he's gonna lead oh my god see both of them god dang it, the two pokemon i didn't want happen he's gonna end up lead both of them which isn't too bad uh what can i do here i can't dig on any of these i mean leaf what would leaf blade do nothing too serious i could protect him turn one which i'm kind of leaning towards protect him maybe just drop on a heat wave this turn so that's what i'm gonna roll into i might have to hard swap my leaf gun is like that but i'm just gonna protect him turn one see what we can do with that Maybe setting up like a plot or something. He's gonna go for an overheat. We're just gonna get that straight block, which is solid. Can I tell us outspeed Tokus? It does. It's gorgeous. That's really good to know. That's really good to know that we outspeed. Did we get a burn or anything? No burns in the scene. She's gonna go for an air slash into, into Nine Tails, and that's fine. That is totally fine. Okay, so from here, I could swap my. Uh, I think I'm gonna swap into my Tokus here. My Tokus is rather fast. And then I'm just gonna roll into another heat wave and kind of go from there. So I would love to have my Nine Tails for like. Oh, not my Nine Tails. My Leafy on for the back end. Because he's just gonna drop an overheat and take me out. 
Maybe he might still take out my Togekiss. We'll see. Maybe he'll miss. Let's see what he does here. He's going to go for another overheat. Can we soak that up? Soak that up, Togi. I love you. That's a great soak up. That's a great soak up. That's the thing. Special attack is going to go to the dumpsters. Going to be able to drop another heat wave. Beautiful. And chip up some more damage. So cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I do that a lot. And he's going to pop a Citrus Berry. Citrus Berry's out and about. It's out and about in battle number one. What's Togekiss going for? Another Air Slash? He's going to go for a Gleam. What a play with a Gleam. What a play with the gleam. I thought he was just going to rip into another air slash that would have been Nine tail Or my, uh, yeah, nine tails and it would have kept my Tokus alive. That could have been good, but we got to bring out PZ. Get after his battle. PZ, let's get rolling here. Okay, so PZ is going to come out here, and I feel like PZ is going to be our bread and butter up until we get rid of, rid of both these Pokemon. So at this point, I'm just going to choose to a tri attack, and I'm going to go after you, and I might just protect this Pokemon at this point. We might swap the uh, Rotom, which I was thinking, and maybe just dropping a Willow Wisp in that slot. Yeah, I should have. Oh my god, that would have been a play. Just Willow Whisper into that slot because he's going to send out who? He's sending out here. Gastron's going to come out here. Alright, uh, so Gastron comes out here. Ninetales is going to protect this turn. And I wonder what Toka is going to go for. I'm going to go for nothing. I think it dies here. I think this Tri Attack can take it out. Tri Attack does big old damage. It does not take it out, but still, big damage comes in hot. We're going to block a Gleam and we're going to get more. So I can drop a Solar Beam. What you want to do? PZ should be able to eat that up. We drop a, a try attack and then just roll into a solar beam. Right? Yeah. Solar beam, four times super effective. I'm going to drop it. I am going to drop it. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Let's see how this one plays. He's going to follow me the shot. And that's fine. Is PZ outspeed? PZ, please, out please outspeed Nine Tails. He might not. It does not. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. But I do have my what's called in the back end. I do have my Leafy on in the back end, which I could just bring out after I think. Oh, we don't even pick up the KO with that. We don't even pick up the KO with that. That's tough news. That's tough news. But we take out you, and I think Gashon's going to be taking out the Nine Tails, right? I think Gashon might take out the Nine Tails at this point, right? He's going to yawn me. He's going to yawn my Nine Tails and probably protect the Gashon at this point. Right? He has to follow me, so I might just double down to whatever Pokemon he brings out. Which is going to be Rotom. So yeah, I'm just going to get after that Rotom. I mean, tri attack should be able to take it out. So I'm just, I just feel like rolling that, and I guess we'll do that. Because again, tri attack should be able to take it out. Should be able to take it out, no problem. But I can see a double protect coming out here all day. All day. My only problem would be is if he outspeeds my PZ. You know, he does outspeed my PZ. How dare you? See you, PZ. PZ drops out here, and Solar Beam's going to be able to come out here before Gashon even moves. And that's really good because that, uh, that Rotom cannot switch out now. That Rotom cannot switch out now. The Solar Beam's gonna poke here. We're gonna say bye bye to Gashon all day, and hopefully we get another turn off in this uh this drought. We'll say bye bye to uh, Gashon, and it turns into like a two v two. And this one's is it two v two? Because I'm trying to think. Who do we take out? We took out the Togekiss. We took out the Gashon, and did we take out anybody else? I think. Who else do you have? You have another Pokemon. You have another Pokemon. There goes my Sunlight, which I really need it. But all I have is Leafeon. All I have is this lovely leaf found, and we know Rotom outspeeds. But it is minus two. It is minus two, which is huge. So he does send out his last Pokemon. Who is it? It's Scizor over here. Scizor is going to be a tough little customer here. Um, Good dig. I could protect. I'm thinking of just protecting this turn. Actually, I'm thinking just like leaf. Am I going to chip up some damage on this thing? I mean, I guess we could do that. Actually, I should protect this turn. I am asleep. I should protect and go for the Heat Wave. Oh no, he might read the protect. He might read the protect. So you know what? I could sword stance here. I'm kind of leaning towards. Yeah, I'm gonna sword stance to go for. I guess we'll go for. It. Leave. Let's see how this one plays out here. He's gonna go for an overheat. Is that going into my leaf on? It is, and it still just dumps on my leaf on. God dang. It. Rotom doing me dirty in battle number one. Doing me so dirty in battle number one. Battle number one's gonna go to our opponent. He still has a scissor. My boy's asleep. It's a little rough. That's a little rough, but. I knew, I knew if he would have led the Togekiss in Rotom, we would have been in the dumps, and that's exactly what it did. And he just started off strong. The so U-turn's going to come out here. That's going to do a lot of damage. My Pokemon's asleep. I'm just going to run this battle, unless... I tell us it's going to outspeed these guys. Rotom's fast on the field, right? Yeah, Rotom is fast on the field. I'm going to just run this battle. That's going to be GG's. We're going to lose battle number one. But hey, we got for a second. Let's grab ourselves for first win. Battle number two coming at you guys, and we're going up against a belly drum lining team, which we definitely have to watch out for. It can definitely do a lot of work on me, which makes me want to lead a double, like, double-hitting lead. 
know what I'm saying? Like Earthquake and Heat Wave. But it definitely worked really well. But he also has the Crobat. He also has the Hitmon top for, you know, fake out and kind of control with that. And then he has the Dragon Knight, Hangus Kong for another fake out, and Clefable for the follow me. So, oh, how should we do this one? How should I do this one? we go Ninetales. That's kind of leaning towards it. He has a lot of different options he can actually go with. I'm thinking Garchomp alongside with Ninetales. Two double hitting Pokemon. I mean, EQ could trigger our focus sash, but it might be worth it. It might be worth it at that point. We'll see. We'll see. We'll bring Leafeon in the back end, and then last but not least, I could go PZ. But dude, the Linoon's scaring me, man. The Linoon is definitely scaring me. It really is. Actually, we could go here. We could go, uh. We could go Togekiss and Garchomp. Would probably be a better lead. Two double hitting moves, and we can't EQ on it. And then we just go Ninetales and Leafeon in the back end. I'm thinking that. I really like it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's at least grab ourselves one here. Battle number two. But that first battle was definitely rough for us. It was definitely rough for us because the two Pokemon that we didn't want him leading, the Rotom and the Tokus, he ended up throwing out there. He ended up winning that battle. And now we're sitting on one. But he's going to go in with Linoon and him on top. Okay, so Intimidate could do some work on us. Um, we're definitely going to have to EQ drop and go into a uh, a Gleam here. Will be my best bet. We got to watch out for the fake. No fake outs. Probably obviously coming in hot. He's going to try to set up the Belly Drum. But Intimidate really does his dirty, so I'm just gonna gleam here. Double hitting move. I could straight up air slash. Maybe look for the flinch here. Might be my better bet, right? I like that. I like that. We're gonna do that, and then we're just gonna drop in nicely. Actually, we could just dragon call across. I'm gonna double down on lining. I'm doubling down in the lining here, trying to get off as much damage as I possibly can onto him. I'm kind of hoping he fakes out my guard chomp and we get off the flinch. The flinch on this lining could be huge. We know he's going for the fake out, and I wonder who he is going to fake out. The problem with Linoon is it sets up Belly Jump and then it has extreme speed. Stab. This big old damage. It's, it's real rough, so let's just see what he does. He's going to end up going for the fake out into my Togekiss. The one Pokemon I didn't want him doing it. Dragon Claw is going to fire. How much damage are we going to rip into this thing? They're intimidated, so Barry's not going to trigger until he actually uses Belly Jump. And there's Belly Jump. Belly Jump is out and about. And chip up some damage and i think maybe we could take him out maybe we could take him out with like a dragon call or an, e or an eq after a citrus berry right Let's see how much damage did our, our dragon call do pretty close to that pretty close to that i'm not even gonna lie really close to that so at this point um do i just gleam i think i have to double down the line and get rid of him i think i have to right i think i have to double down this line we know it's going for extreme speed but i'll take a death for a death here I'll take a death for a death all day. This is going to be tough, dude. <laughs> this is going to be tough. Yeah, we're going up against some good opponents today. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Don't protect. Don't protect. Do not protect the line. He's going to protect the line. Because I said that. He's going to withdraw. Okay, he's going to withdraw him. And who are you going to fly into here? Who are you, going, who are you coming in hot with? Come on, Fable. He's going to protect this turn. Son of a biscuit, man. I hate this game. I hate it. Okay, at this point, you know, I just EQ and uh, EQ and Gleam, right? He just wants to follow me these shots. EQ and, and Gleam's gonna be playing. What a protect, dude. What a beautiful protect. Yes, EQ and Gleam here. Gleam, we have the double hitting moves, rolling out strong, and then EQ trying to fly out hot here. I should maybe protect the Archon, but I feel like he's gonna go after Togus. Let's see what it does. Extreme Speed coming in hot. Yep, he goes after Togus, and my Togi dies. My Togekiss dies. Can we take out the sign in with this uh, EQ, please? And of course, you go. I know, he goes for follow me. He wants to follow me shot. Okay. Can we take out the slime, please? Can we get rid of this, this ugly little Pokemon? Get rid of him, please. Go for Garchomp. Let's go. That's a big turn. That's a big time turn. Okay, so we get rid of him. I could bring out Ninetales now, which I think I'm going to do. Set the sun and kind of just get after the battle that way. Maybe just protect the Garchomp. Or I could Sword Stance the Garchomp because he's going to go back into Intimidate. And if he does that, you know what? I'm just going to swap into my Leafeon. I'm just going to swap into my Leafeon. Let's see. Does he go back into his him on top? Let's see. Now he's going to go into Kangas Kong. So fake outs are ready to roll. I think I might just double protect this turn. Or I could uh, go into a Sword Stance. I could actually Will O' Wisp you. I think it's going to be my play. I'm going to Will O' Wisp you and just protect. I'll protect the Chomp. See what we can get rolling with that. Because he might fake out and go for like a Moon Blast at this point. Could definitely be his play. But this is going to be a solid second round. Solid second battle here. I love BDSP. BDSP is so much fun. It's so much fun, but we haven't won one yet. We haven't won a battle yet. We're 0-1. We're 0-1. We gotta win this battle here. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for a fake out. Oh man, into my nine tails. 
Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I need life dues. Okay, so life dues can come in here. Get a little bit of HP back. That's fine. Uh, speech should still be in our favor. I could Swords Dance at this point. I'm thinking of Swords Dancing. I'm not even going to lie. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to pop a Swords Dance. I know we got speed. Is he really going to drop a Moon Blast on me this turn? I do not know. I don't know. It's tough. He made a great protect with the line early on, too. He is going to fly here. He's going to chip up some mean damage. Give me, give me some burns. Throw me some burns. Blaster's really coming in hot. Oh, God. See you later, Ninetales. Ninetales drops out here. Last Resort picks up the KO. Last Resort is nice with it. It is nice with it. And this thing is just going to finally drop the Moon Blast, dude. Come on, eat this up, Chomp. Let's go, Chomp. That's a big time eat. That's a big time eat. Because now I can bring out Leaf Gun, and I could dig and dodge a move, and then drop. Actually, no, EQ would still hit me. EQ will still hit me. Um, we think Leaf Blade could take out Kang's uh, Kong. Probably going to go for a follow me. So, you know what? I'm just going to protect here and drop an EQ. It's free at this point. He has no first turn priority moves. It's free. I'm going to drop this and just have my Leafy on chilling in the back end. It's free. I might as well protect. I have the sun for a couple more turns. Good work, Garchomp. It's soaking up that Moonblast. We love it. We love it. We know Garchomp's fastest, and we got that Sword Dance off, which was huge. So that was a great play by me. We might actually be able to pick up a double KO here. A nice, lovely double KO. Let's see. Let's see what he's going to do. What's, a, what's, a, what's this guy going to do here? leafy has been tough to get out here. I'm going to protect my leafy on. He's gonna protect one of his Pokemon. Let's see. He's gonna end up uh, going for a follow me. That's totally fine because we're dropping EQ. That's totally fine. No reason to drop a Dragon Call here. No reason to drop a Dragon Call. We protect that. We're gonna drop an EQ. This should take out the Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan should be gone. I don't know about the Fable here. Cool. Kangaskhan's gone. Fable stays alive. That's fine. That is fine. He's gonna have to throw out his final Pokemon, which is gonna be him on top. I think he's gonna. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hate this He's gonna, uh, he's gonna do that. It's a berry. He has a berry. Um, do I just protect the Garchomp here? I think I keep the Garchomp in. He's gonna get off Intimidate. We are back to even on the board. And what do I do? Do I just pop a Leaf Blade into him? Oh, dude, that's more physical attacking on Leafeon, too. I could Swords Dance my Leafeon. I could definitely Swords Dance my Leafeon. I don't know what I want to do here. It's scary. This is definitely scary. Uh... I'm going to Swords Dance my Leaf down here. I could protect you. I could definitely protect you. You know he's going to go for the Fake Out. He's going for the Fake Out Moon Blast. He's going to do that. He's going to Fake Out who? Leaf Gun? Cool. Fakes out my Leaf Gun. He gets a crit, of course. And we're still going to be able to get off this Dragon Call, which is nice. We don't protect the Garchomp. I think he was looking for that Protect. Go after my Leaf Gun, please. You going after my Leaf Gun? That'd be beautiful. No. He goes after my Garchomp. It takes me out. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. We're gonna lose this battle? No way. No way! Going 0 and 2 in BDSP. I don't like this. I do not like this. Uh, I guess we'll Leaf Blade across the board here. How much damage can we do here? Put that orb? I mean, I mean, we're minus one. That's tough. We should have speed here. Him on top's doing his little strut. I mean, what could Fable do? Fable's probably just gonna life do out. I can hope we can get a crit here or something and get some work done. We're gonna be cutting it close. We're gonna be cutting it close. But he's gonna end up going for a follow me here. You little biscuit, man. I hate follow me. I hate it. Give me some crits. Show, show me some love in here. Show me some love in here, Leafeon. Leaf Blade coming in hot. Does some big damage. What's, uh, what's him on top going for here? Is he combating? What's he rocking with? He's going for the combat. That's, he's so... So his defense is down the dumps. Um, His defense is down the dumps. But I think I have to get rid of the... What's it called here? Oh, dude. There goes my sunlight. That's tough news. Can I still outspeed these guys? I'm going to take out you. Just so you don't like to. Just so you don't like to. His defense is down. His defense is down, dude. We need to outspeed him. Come on, Leafeon. I'll give you a little bit of uh, EVs and speed. And he's going to... Oh, no. Dude, he protects. Can it be double protect? Can it be double protect? No way. No way he's going to be able to close combat. And we can eat that up. But a Moon Blast can take me out. That's so rough. That's so rough, dude. That's so rough. That protect. I want to see if this would be able to take him out. This would have been able to take him out. He's minus two on defense. This would have been able to take him out. But again, it comes down to speed at this point. I think that protect just won him the game. No way. And I do outspeed, man. This takes him out all day. If he didn't protect, that was GG's. If he didn't protect, that was GG's. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. I'm orbed. He has to miss his move. Don't go into Moonblast. 
He goes to the moon blast. That's GG's. Come on, man. He protected the fable for the win. That's crazy. That's crazy. But yo, we're sitting 0-2. You guys know the deal. BDSP double battles. We gotta go. Grab ourselves a win in the third and final battle. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against the same opponent, but he's dropping a different team. He's got himself a lovely little trick room team here, and it's looking very tough for us. It's looking really tough for us. I don't know how we should go into this one. I don't even know how we should play it. I feel like Tokus could be solid, but at the same time, Tokus can't be solid. But I'm still going to lead Tokus because he's got the Machamp. He's got the uh, him on top who we might want to lead. And he also has that Tokus. Or not Tokus, the Cresselia, which is definitely scary. Uh, do I go into PZ? I go into Latios here. I mean, Latios isn't too bad. Not too bad. I wish I did have an Iceman just for the sheer fact is, uh, he has that, uh, that, what's it called? That Rhyperior and the uh, Glide score. Man, this one's going to be tough. This one's going to be tough again. Uh, do I go PZ? Hmm. How do I lose one? I might go PZ. Try to drop like a Hyper Beam maybe early on in this match and just rip into this battle. I'm going to go Tokus. I'm going to go PZ here and then I'm going to bring in... Hmm. Leafeon. I, I got to showcase Leafeon. I'll bring Leafeon up without the, the Sun and then last but not least. Do I go Garchomp? Just have Garchomp in there or Garchomp's looking eh. He's looking eh here. I could go actually Latios here. I do like Latios. I do like Latios with that psychic up against that Machamp. We're gonna lock it in it. We're gonna lock it down and we gotta win this battle. We had two solid battles that we just lost, but we're better than this. We gotta grab ourselves a win here. We gotta grab ourselves a win. He's gonna end up going into you and that. Okay, um, at this point, he's probably just gonna protect the Machamp, right? I think I just air slash into you. Try to get that flinch. And do I try attack or do I hyper beam this? I think I'm gonna hyper beam this to try to get rid of this person. I'm gonna rip up as much damage as I possibly can. He's gotta protect the Machamp here. And Machamp has gotta get a protection. He's gotta be protecting that Machamp and just trying to pop a trick room. Or maybe he wants me to think that and he's just gonna go into a move and just dump all my PZ. But still, if PZ can get this off, that could be good. He's gonna endure. That's fine. That's fine. We're not even going after it. We're not even going after it. PZ's gonna drop a hyper beam. Adaptability, stab, choice spec. Get off some mean damage. PZ, baby. PZ coming in hot. We love it. Great play by us to call that Hyper Beam. Nice little Hyper Beam call. He's going to endure the shot. That's going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. We love it. But we're choosing the Hyper Beam here. He doesn't have Trick Room, which is gorgeous. This battle should be all ours. It should be ours. I don't know. I can't. I can't. I, I might have spoke too soon, but that's a huge time KO. That's a big time KO for us. Big, big time KO. Love to see it. You'll see it. And he quits. And he quits right off the rip. Come on, man. Let me finish out the battle. But, yo, it's all good. We'll take that one and two record. Grab ourselves a win with that lovely hyper beam. We go one and two for today's video. Not a bad set of battles. I feel like both our opponents that we went up, up against are definitely really good. And they made some great plays up against Relief Yon, so we So we couldn't really show it all to its fullest potential. But we still got it in there. And we still got to showcase the damage it can do. But, yo, that third and final battle. I can't believe our opponent quit. Like, come on, man. Drop the Hyper Beam. You beat me in the last battle, and you're just going to quit the battle? Come on. It's all good, though. He's a solid little opponent. He beat us in the first battle. We beat him in the second battle, and we take that one and two record. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.